A juror's got to look at some new surveillance video today in the trial of a former Wolf City police officer charged with first degree murder. Malini Basu was in the courtroom when that video was played in Hunt County. Malini, what, what, what can you tell us about it? Yeah, Chris, you know, um, as you just mentioned, we were not allowed to have any cameras, no microphones in there, so we strictly just had to watch it. So I do want to take you back in chronological order from what we saw. It was only snippets of the surveillance video taking you back to October 3rd, 2020. And I want to go in chronological order about what we just saw in the courtroom. You see a man come out of the convenience store and he hugs Jonathan Price, gives him a big bear hug, and then the two of them start fighting. And then you see that man who is bear hugging him. They get into some sort of a fight. And then his girlfriend then ends up the both of them take off in what witnesses say was a red Mustang. In the meantime, you have witnesses calling 911. There's a huge fight going outside, uh, going on outside of the convenience store. And then in the video, you see Price, Jonathan Price, talking to a man about a hat. Defense says that they had some sort of an argument about a hat. What that is, uh, we don't know. And that's when Officer Lucas responded to that quick check. Uh, witnesses say that um, they heard uh, Officer Lucas say, hey, listen, we're going to arrest you. And Price was, no, 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 I'm not going to be arrested. He walked away. Um, witnesses uh, told the jurors today that that's when Lucas had pulled out his taser and shot him. And then that's when Price had fallen to the floor. And witnesses say that uh, Jonathan Price at that point could not even get up. Um, and they then say witnesses that that's when Lucas pulled out his gun and shot him three times. Chris. Molly, just in terms of uh, the testimony, uh, who took the stand? Yeah, so we actually heard testimony from quite a few people today, and the ones that really stuck out to me today was we heard from Sergeant Jared Hayes. He is from the Wolf City Police Department. He was on the stand, and uh, I just want to read you some of the quotes today that I was able to jot down in court. He told prosecutors, he told the jurors that, quote, he said, Price smelled like alcohol, but he was not aggressive to anyone. And the defense says, well, did you have a problem when Lucas shot Price? And then Hayes, Sergeant Hayes, uh, he said, I had a problem that he shot Jonathan Price. And the defense says, then why didn't you tell the Texas Rangers that during your interview? Now, back out here live, uh, you know, we also heard from a man by the name of Chase Reed. He is a Wolf City resident. Um, he was at the store at the time. He was also buying ice. And he said that, you know, he knows of Jonathan Price, never really had any issues, just knows of him because they always see each other, live in the same town, the same city. And uh, so this man was buying a bag of ice and he saw everything that happened moments after he got tased. And these are some quotes I was able to jot down from Chase Reed. He told jurors that, quote, Jonathan was not full speed. There are a lot more things the cop could have done than shoot him. And, you know, Chris, we also heard from Price's childhood friend, uh, Nicholas Crockett. Uh, Nicholas Crockett, uh, they also played softball together since they were about seven years old. And he said, quote, I saw Lucas say to Jonathan, I said, come here. I used a taser to hit him in the back, and then he stumbled down the stair, lost balance, reached out to catch himself, and he was shot. Price lays out, and Officer Lucas handcuffs him. And back out here live, another witness also uh, said the same thing on the stand that right after Price was shot, Officer Lucas ended up handcuffing Price. Uh, there, there was a lot to it today, Chris. Yeah, I know, you, you know, you, I always feel like you pick up on different things when you're actually there in the courtroom. Um, what, what was it like today? You know, um, towards the end, um, uh, towards the end today of testimony, there was a volunteer firefighter. Um, I also jotted this down. Jonathan Kinded, he's a volunteer firefighter. Um, he got very emotional while on the stand. He told jurors that the moment that Price got shot, he tried, he ran up to him. Can I help you? Can I help you? How are you doing? And uh, he said that Price said, quote, um, that he's not OK. And you will have to forgive me because I'm looking down, jotting down everything we said today in court. He said that, no, you can't help me. I'm just not. He just wasn't well. And at that point, um, that volunteer firefighter did everything that he could to save him. And he started tearing up. And that's when we all took a break. And then that volunteer firefighter ended up in the hallway. He was crying. Price's family went to that firefighter and they all just had a moment and they were hugging. And Chris, tomorrow um, there will be more testimony at eight o'clock in the morning uh, with an expert. All right, certainly some emotional moments for everyone involved. Thank you so much, uh, Malini.